Hello everyone, welcome back to this new episode of the Bulldog Web Hacking Challenge. We've been able to locate an administration portal and some hashes, and now it's time to crack those hashes. So let's get started. So what I can do is first of all, build a custom word list. To do that, I'm going to go to the main website and I'm going to extract these words. And one great tool that allows you to do that is cool, which is by the way, very cool. Um, so cool dash H can give you the help menu if it wants to do that. I think it's dash dash help. Nope. Anyways, cool with minimum of five characters. We want to extract words that are hosted on HTTP ctf07.rootme.org. And we want to place the words in a file called uh, words. All right, let's count the lines. How many words did we extract from that words using the WC command and we have 47 words. So these are the different words we extracted. I'm also going to do the same thing for uh, slash dev. And you know what, I'm just going to pipe this to my old words file. Perfect. And I'm going to do the same for the notice page. Perfect. Now let's count. We have 200, around 300 words. I'm just going to sort them and unique them. So if we do that, we will get that reduced to just about 200 words, which is good. So this will be our word list. So we're going to pipe this to a file and let's call it word list. Perfect. So our word list now resembles to this. Uh, I have a typo in my file. Let's just remove the header of cool, the banner I mean, and that would be it. Now I'm going to use John to mangle this word list. The way to do that is uh, John dash word list on here. I'm going to place the word list that I have now dot txt and I'm going to apply the rules uh, that are present in the configuration file of John and I'm going to redirect everything to mangle dot txt. So now if we list the number of lines we have on this mangle text, you can see that it's about 32,000 words. And these are um, variations of my uh, original word list. As you can see, we were adding some digits, we're uh, turning these into lowercase, etc. So with that said, we have our mangle.txt. Uh, what I'm going to do is use hashcat in order to crack or attempt to crack those hashes. So we want to learn the uh, module number for our hash. But first of all, I need to know what is this hash. So what I can do is real quick, take one of these hashes and put it on an online hash identifier. I like to use the hashes.com website. And let's put in our hash and submit to identify. So the possible algorithm here is SHA-1. We can use module number 100. So that would be hashcat-m100 and then hashes.txt file followed by the word list mangled.txt and let's run it. And just like that, we were able to crack a hash. Do you notice anything here? Correct. We have the hash and its corresponding password, which is bulldog. How creative. So I wonder what is this hash corresponding to. So this hash corresponds to which user? We can grab for that hash in the hashes file that we had so far. And yes, it's corresponding to nick at bulldogindustries.com. So let's try with that email and see if we can log in. Let's go back to slash admin. Let's paste in the email and bulldog for the password. Mm, so it says here the username is not correct. So let's let's just remove the email and try with Nick. Um, password 
that we've just cracked and we get in. Wow. So after all, the hashes were useful to a hacker. Remember, whoever wrote this uh, dumb comment. All right. So now that we have access as Nick, do we have access to the shell? Let's go to dev because in a previous episode, we saw that we need to authenticate in order to access the web shell. If we click on it, oh, we get access to the shell, the world's most secure web shell. It prevents users from running dangerous shell commands. Okay, it does this by limiting the specific commands that can be run. The list of valid commands can be seen below. Okay, let's see what is our current directory is in pwd, run it, and we are under home Django Bulldog. Okay, well, if I type id, which is not in this list, just to see what is the current user, run, oh, invalid command, I caught you, hacker. Okay, let's see if we can bypass this filter in the next episode. Make sure to subscribe and hit the ring bell to receive it once it goes live. And don't forget to give this episode a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. As always, stay curious, keep learning, and go find some bugs.